I'll welcome our first ever lady what? interviewee to the Just Be Show, Nelika Bose. Nice to meet you. Likewise, pleasure, pleasure to have you on the channel. Pleasure to be here. Um, I fell into it, as most people do actually. Um, I think. I was doing a number of things. So I went to university, got my degree, then started doing a normal job um, and just did not work out. For one reason or another, there was something still saying, you're part of a dance company. This is what you're always thinking about. Why don't you try and do something in dance? So slowly, slowly, after trying various other things, this is where I ended up and haven't really looked back. Thank you. So yeah. you've come out of graduation and there's something in your heart saying, okay, uh, job isn't for me. Uh, Not to... even my heart. It was just like always just pulling me back. Like my mind was just elsewhere. Yeah. And then I was thinking, how can I make this my career? Because I can't see myself doing anything else. So um, it was it was not really even just the choreography. It was just actually seeing dancers and seeing how talented they were. Yeah. And then people not being able to actually use that talent and make money from it. And then I was there thinking, oh, I think I've got a really good idea having worked for all these different dance companies, how we can make this a better process. So yeah. then I um, created my own company and I did two years with another business partner and then went off and did Bollywood Co. on my own. I would say that was probably my warm up. And sure. then Bollywood Co. was, yeah, this is like my dream now. Yeah. Uh, and what, how old were you when you started? It was just out I was like 21. You? Actually, 21 or 22, because I had a few years of um, kind of working in different jobs, which were just kind of like grad jobs. And then at 22, I just made a decision like, no, I need to give my full focus to this now. And then, yeah. Oh, that's quite a courageous thing to do, especially in our society, because most people go into the 95 job, mm -hmm. you know, and then they just stick with it. They just stick with their own um, well, how you know, our parents, especially in Asian cultures, are always, yeah. you know, go become an accountant. Go become a doctor. 100%. Go become, you know, pharmacist. You know, you name it, and we just stick with it. But yeah. we don't always follow what we want to do. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's kind of it's quite interesting to see you take something that's a bit more unusual. Yeah. The you know? thing I the thing why I did it so young was because for me, when I see people like Selena Gomez or Justin Bieber, like yeah. those were the people I would in my mind compare myself to. I'd be like, what well, they've already got, like you know, a uh, platinum record. Where's mine? Like, do you know what I mean? Because for Asian role models, there aren't that many out there that are like setting goals and and things that you can look up to and think you can do that. So I would look over across at American artists. Like, obviously, I never wanted to be a singer, but I would just see how young people achieved things. And then for me, I just felt like I've got to catch up. I've got to do this now. So I didn't even think, you know, I didn't even feel young at the time. It was just yeah. something that I thought, you know, if I don't do this now, I'm going to, it's going to be too late for me. So now just, yeah. Other responsibilities, other responsibilities exactly. Mm -hmm. 